Hi guys, PJ here and it's a Friday so Zor is here again. In fact it's Friday the 30th so it's the last visit of this month he's got and as we know now he's selling exotic class items as from last week. So if you're new to the game he's in this location all the time. We haven't got to go around and find him or anything like that. We'll make a start with the hunter and see what he's got, see if he's got anything good. I wish to Hello, Zor. These are from the time. This week. So, let's have a quick look at what we've got here. Catalyst-wise, we've got the Hookerbury Catalyst. Yep, okay, not too bad at all. Um, I won't go mad over it, if I'm honest with you. I won't probably, especially if you're new to the game, don't waste your strange coins. It's not bad. You know, it's worth having if you've got it and you've got a load of coins. But other than that, nah, a bit bland. Trinity Ghoul Catalyst. Yes, it makes the bow an awful lot better. If you're new to the game, save your coins. If you're sort of into the game a long time, you've probably already got this. It's a worth a pick up, but only if you've got a surplus of coins or you're prepared to farm some more. Celestial so Night Hawk, uh, Golden Fun Gun fires one high damage shot, you know, instead of the multiple ones. Recovery on that's pretty good, not too bad. Intellect is okay, mobility is plus three. Oh. No, <laughs> we'll move on from that. Uh, okay, severance and closure there for the Titan class. Strength is 12, 65 overall. Mm, intellect, discipline, recovery. That's not bad. That is not terrible. If you're looking for a chess piece for your Titan and you haven't got one, that's not bad. Not bad. It could do with bits and bobs. You know, discipline may be a little bit lower. Maybe resilience a bit higher, but overall, that's not bad. Right, Crown of Tempest. This is an old one for the Warlock. We've got 67 roll, which is pretty high. Intellect, though, is plus 6. Mobility is high. Resilience is high. So that's a no. Okay, let's have a look at the weapons this week. What's the roll on the Hulk Moon? Paracols or shot? Quick draw. Yeah. Mm. Come back real quick, draw. I like, yeah, no, no, <laughs> move on from that one. Arbalast, this is very worthwhile picking up. If you haven't got this gun, you should pick it up. It's fantastic for PvE. I use one myself. Uh, I think of it as like a, to be honest, a, a high powered sniper rifle. It says, fire slugs that cause massive damage to combatant shields, strong against barrier champions. And it is, it really does what it says on the packet so that's worth a buy guys that's very good moving on we've got hard light sort of a, a vampire gun in a way uh, over penetrating ricochet rounds bounce damage on bounce volatile light so this is pretty good because you can sort of change it and basically you can make this arc and this new season is all about arc so there you go fundamental trait lot solar arc or void take your pick so not bad this is also worth a pickup just for this season if you haven't got one because like i say a lot of it's arc uh the prospect let's have a look detonation chain reaction for those trigger it's not the best gun you know let's not buy that it's definitely by the other last if you haven't got it probably buy the hard light for this season so there's two let's have a look at the normal stuff okay die promise we have auto loading help nope Sideways, oh, it's got Rampage, but it's got Sideways with it. Oh, that's a yin and yang, that is. Rampage, good. Sideways, bad. So that's a no. Uh, Timeless Vertex. Need for gold. Snapshot sights. No. I'm going to say no. Uh, Zen Movement, Unrelenting, Lightweight Frame. This is a bit of a weird gun. Um basically rounds per minute can change on this thing and you keep the uh, quick movement with it but the lightweight frame in other words it's still not brill so i'm going to say no bad omens uh tracking module it's got tracking if you haven't got a tracking rocket launcher that's handy rather than missing your shots or firing at their feet but it's not brill blast radius is 31 look yeah okay we have a negative impact sword burst guard no Quick Fang this week has Swordmaster's Guard and Thresh. No. Okay, this armor. Ooh, I haven't seen this stuff for a long time. This is old. Cool looking. 
but old. Okay, what we got? Uh, mobility is plus two. Let's move on. Mobility is plus two. Moving on again. Oh my god. Really? Oh, okay. Saved by the boots slightly. It's a bit flat though, that is. The armor's a no-buy for the hunter, unless you want it for transmog, because I haven't seen this stuff for a long, long time. This is this is old. It's not that common. This is old. Okay, guys, let's move on to the warlock. Right, what's this one got then on the old armor? We have the gloves here, 64 roll, mobilities high, discipline's no good, so nope. Uh, strength low, right, discipline really high. Oh, intellect's low, that's a shame. Not bad looking though, not bad looking armor. There you go, it's quite nice. Um, we've got the helmet there, oh, wrong, wrong one. Let's get this right, there we go. <laughs> As you bond, it's quite a nice looking thing, I'm sure you'd agree. Quite like this set, it is a nice looking set. And the boots. Okay, so we've got 66 roll. I will go back. I was just checking the, the look of them out. Mobility too high. Intellect's okay. That's not bad. That's not bad. You could do worse if you're looking for some boots for your warlock. You could do worse. I'd prefer to have had intellect where mobility is, but hey, it's not bad. Um, okay, the helmet itself, discipline's too low on that. Yep, say the boots for this, let's have a look at the sword. Eternity's Edge has tireless blades, no, that's a no. So basically, the boots are pretty good, and like I say, the look of this stuff's pretty good. Let's move on to the Titan. Okay, we have, again, this stuff looks so nice. In my opinion, there you go. Look at that. Uh, right, sorry about that. <laughs> I'm reminiscing on this stuff, it's that old. Okay, resilience is ooh, resilience is 25, strength is two. Oh, that's such a shame. If intellect had been where strength was, that would have been spot on for a titan. Unfortunate, but still moving on. Uh, 66 roll, it's all on discipline. Nope. Um, the helmet's got 66 roll, good strength, and resilience at plus 7. Mediocre. That is mediocre, guys. It's it's not bad. It's not great. And um, we've got a 63 resilience as plus 2. Strength is not too good. No, they're rubbish. No good. So I've got the sword. Okay, we've got flash counter and surrounded. Surrounded's pretty good, actually. Um... This weapon gains bonus damage when three or more enemies are in close proximity. Flash counter melee blot immediately after guarding distance orientates and weakens the attacker. Not a bad combo. You could get a better combo, don't get me wrong. Surrounded with something a bit better than that one. But overall, not a bad sword if you're after a sword for your Titan. And guys, that's it. I'll, uh, I'll wrap it up for today and uh, catch you again same time next week. Bye for now. I'm...